All right, welcome back. Today we're going to do another tricks and traps video. And this one is about the second integrated task. And this one is about the academic course where you're combining information from two different sources. You have the reading passage that introduces some sort of a topic and then defines or explains that topic. And then you have to combine that information with an audio file, which will either give you more information about that topic or it will provide you with an example of that topic, or it will somehow contrast the information. Like if it's a uh, scientific theory, then maybe the professor will be contradicting that somehow. But usually it will provide an example. Now, as I state here, the tricks and the traps for this one are very similar to the last integrated task. First of all, there really aren't any tricks. In other words, there aren't any things that the makers of the exam do to try to trick you with this particular task type. And the traps are essentially the same. Uh, but with this one, the main thing is not mentioning the topic and its definition or explanation, as stated in the reading passage, because you definitely have to mention what the topic is and its definition or explanation. Uh, then the next one would be not having a good transitional phrase to link the reading passage and the listening passage together, because one of the main things that you have to do here is to show how the information from both of the sources is related. So you have to make sure that when you're speaking about it that you say what information comes from the reading section and what comes from the listening file. And that's actually very easy, um, as you can actually see or actually hear in the example audio file. This one gives an example of a good response to this particular task type. So then the next one would be not clearly showing how the two are related. So um, that's tying into this one about the transitional phrase to link the reading passage. And as you noted, if you listen to the example here, it, you know, if it's an example, you'd say, well, first of all, in the reading section, we learn about blah, 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 blah. And then in the lecture, the professor gives an example of this, or the professor uh, gives more information about this by talking about something like that. So um, a very simple thing to actually do. But if you don't make that distinction about which information came from the reading and which came from the audio file, then you will get marked down for that one. And then finally, the other one is, first of all, either finishing your response too early, and as I state here, anything more than three seconds of airtime is too much extra time. And you can fix this by really practicing. Just practice, practice, practice. Make sure you practice with a clock so that you know exactly how much information you can get in in 60 seconds and also so that you get used to how fast you should actually speak. Because if you're getting to the end of your answer and you have... Uh, maybe seven seconds left and you know that you have at least, you know, only two seconds worth of information, then you can slow down your speech a little bit and take a little bit of a pause in between what you're saying. And that way you'll fill up the time. Now, as you noticed, I slowed down my speech and I had some pauses in between my words. So you'll, when you practice, you'll find ways to do that where it still sounds natural, where it doesn't sound like you're purposely trying to go slower. If you do that, then you'll get graded down. <laughs> but when you practice, you'll learn how you can do those types of things where it actually does sound natural. And the other one is not finishing your response in time. If you're still speaking when the recording cuts off, you definitely will get marked down uh, in that situation. So that's why the main thing about all tricks and traps is practicing. Uh, remember that you only have 60 seconds to give your response for this task, so it's good to know exactly what 60 seconds feels like, and that's really it. As far as the tricks and the traps of the second integrated speaking task about the academic course where you're combining information. Alright, so thanks for stopping by, and we will see you in the next lesson.